Good morning, River Oak Grace kids. I am so excited to be here with you this morning. I am very thankful that Miss Stacy and Miss Amber and the worship team have taken you along in a wonderful journey the last couple weeks. Yeah, not knowing what's going on is a little scary, and sometimes it can bring about this thing called fear. What is fear? I'm really excited to hear what you guys think fear is. Comment below and tell me what you think fear is. But now we're going to talk to some kids who have no clue who they are about what they think fear is. What are you afraid of? Heights. I'm afraid of the dark. What are you afraid of? Um, dark. Why? Because I'm always scared I'm going to fall off. Because it is um, dark and I can't see anything. Don't hit, don't hit. Hit my room. Because you don't know what's in your room? Yeah. Not go on any, any really high rides at Disneyland or any other theme park. I turn on my night light. You turn on your nightlight? Yeah. Fear is defined as the unpleasant emotion caused by the belief that someone or something is dangerous, likely to cause pain or a threat. Fear is like a closed door that we always tend to open. That closed door is a door that we never want to open, but yet we always catch ourselves opening. It's the door to a dark room. A room where we don't know what's inside, we don't know who's inside, and we don't know what it's going to do with us. So being in a dark room can cause some angst, some worry, some fear. The enemy likes to place us in darkness so we're not able to see what God's doing. When we worry about what God's doing, when we think that God's not moving fast enough, that brings us into a type of tunnel vision. It's like we're looking through a little tiny hole when God's creating so much more all the way around us. What does God do to help us with fear? Well, God provides a shield. Back in Genesis, God provided a shield for Abram. He told him that, do not be afraid for I am your shield. What does that shield mean? Well, the shield's not just a basic shield that protects against arrows and swords and um, what you would see on a normal soldier. No, this shield covers us from head to toe. It protects us from harmful comments. It protects us from our fears. It's an all-around shield. This shield, however, needs maintenance. This, this maintenance comes from you diving deep into the Bible, learning more about God, getting a better relationship with your Creator Father. This is how you learn to lighten up the darkness. How you will eventually escape the darkness is if you are constantly talking with your Father through prayer. If you're worried about something, it's okay to be worried about something. All you have to do is just talk to God about it. Talk through prayer. If you need to say a prayer, about something that you're worried about, something that you're fearful about, the unknown, that's okay. Right now we're going through something that Americans have never really done before, let alone some of the world. This COVID-19 coronavirus uh, pandemic, this is causing so much panic and worry and fear that's being placed out into the world. So how do we respond to this? 
All you have to do is be informed. Talk to your parents about what is currently going on. Talk about the actual facts, not just the Facebook facts that are out there. Look at the CDC's website. Get good knowledge. Create a step-by-step -step plan with your parents. If family member A gets this illness, these are the next set of steps that are gonna happen. So you don't have that fear of the unknown. God will protect us. God is always going to protect us. He will always be there with us. Sometimes God creates different types of circumstances which we just cannot see why in the world they are happening to us. But God's plan is far greater than us and it's far greater than our understanding. We do not have the type of minds or brains that can even come close to understand what God's plan is. As long as you put your faith forward in God, that will tend to help lighten up the situation. Just remember, we are not meant to go through this Christian life alone. Find a close friend that you can trust in and tell them about your fear. It's okay to go through things together because I promise if you're worried about something, there's somebody else worried about something too. They're going through the same stuff. And maybe God will use you and your experiences to help them through that. God has a plan and we are a part of it. God is very happy for you to be a child of his. So how can we help from getting caught in the darkness and being scared of the darkness, the fear of the unknown? Well, we can say encouraging words to each other. We can constantly check up on each other. We can find a friend. We could talk to a family member about it, or we could go to prayer. One of the biggest things that's gonna help you is praying with your Heavenly Father. So when these things start to happen, we're gonna start seeing more light in the world and taking us out of, out of darkness. Because when darkness is gone, that's when we can see what God's doing around us. God's bigger picture in our life. I've had an awesome time being able to teach you a little bit about fear this week and how we can allow God to just take everything from us, all our hurts, hangups, and worries, and just give it to Him. Once you start living in the light that God shines, darkness goes away. I'm going to be praying for you this week. I've been praying for you. I hope that you guys stay happy, healthy, have fun. Don't drive your parents too crazy. Remember, they're cooped up too.